Hey guys, this is Dave. I wanted to show what DFS uh, looks like with de detecting DFS with Ubiquity uh, equipment. Uh, I'm going to compare when the actual equipment has a DFS in the UI and being able to see that in the API. So here is um, the equipment in the UI and you can see that it's sitting here at 5740 megahertz. And if I go to wireless, I can see that it's configured at 5645. So uh, that is a different frequency than 5740. So that's because it's in DFS state. Uh, and that's what happened here. So what I want to know is how I can detect that with APIs. So I'm going to go over to the APIs. And in this interface here, I am making calls to the devices and the wireless config. So um, on the devices, I will make a request and uh, I've got, uh, I'm gonna be looking for, well, first off, I'm gonna look for the device, the device that I know I need, which is, um, oop, let me go get the key from uh, the, the identifier is in the URL here. Uh, I also could search by name and such, but uh, I find it easier to go here. So I'm gonna paste in the ID here. And it comes up right at this point. So it is my Air Max. And here's the identification for it. So. Um, this is going to show me the actual, this is the role of an access point. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, this access point is on a frequency of 5740. So 5740 right here, 5740 is the operating frequency. And so just to show it again, 5740. Yep, that's what it's operating at. So then this is what devices is showing me. So on the configuration, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call the configuration um, for this particular device. And I've got the string uh, there. Is it the same string? Let me just confirm that. Yes, it's the same string. This is the same unique identifier that I pulled in the URL. So um, of the, uh, the device UI. So when I come here, uh, I'm gonna look for control frequency. Now this pulls a huge amount of XML um, JSON return. I'm going to look for the last instance of control frequency. So what I'll do is I already did it here, but um, when I type in control frequency, it goes to me, it goes to the first one. I actually want to go backwards and go to the last one. So that shows me 5635 and that's the device. All the other instances of that are showing compatibility and all the devices connected to it. So 5635 is what it's configured for on the control frequency. And just to show that again, 5635 is right here. So there I have it. Um, there's the comparison of how to detect DFS with the API. There's two different APIs you're going to call. One for the devices and seeing all the devices and uh, looking for the access point device and looking at its overview frequency uh, that it's using. And then for each of those devices that it gets, we're going to uh, then look at the identification here, pull it into the wireless config, and um, then retrieve the wireless config uh, control frequency. All right, well, hopefully that, um, that clarifies how to identify the API uh, usage for DFS detection.